switching, converting back now from 4.2. Now I'm getting to 4.3. I know I didn't have a lot of time. We didn't have time today. Um, what I will do, though, is next class period, um, I will go over, we'll, we'll review, because last class period you guys were supposed to do 4.3 work. So I'll go over some of the answers on 4.3. Um, but to help kind of present you guys with the rest of the 4.3, remember we were talking about triangles now. So we're going back into our trigonometric functions, not just on the unit circle, but our trigonometric functions now that are based on triangles. And that can stay right there. No, no, th th there. So now we need to be talking about um, our trig functions and as a triangle. So remember, ladies and gentlemen, <clears throat> when we have an angle, this is our angle that we call theta. And we say theta is equal to 60 degrees. We have a right angle. Across from our right angle is our hypotenuse. Right? But what we're trying to figure out is we're trying to figure out what x is. So remember, the angle that is between theta and our 90 degree angle is what we call the adjacent side. And our opposite is what we, and opposite of our angle is what we call the opposite side. So in this case, we have our opposite and our adjacent. So we need to go back and remember what does sine, what are the ratios of sine, cosine, and tangent? Sine, if you remember, is opposite over hypotenuse. The cosine of an angle is the ratio of adjacent over hypotenuse. And tangent is the ratio of um, opposite over adjacent. All right? So looking at what information we have, we have information for the opposite and the adjacent. So therefore, which trig function am I going to want to use? Tangent. tangent. And do I know what theta is? Theta? Yeah, 60 degrees. So what I'll do is I'll write tangent of 60 degrees is equal to 32 over x. Right? But the question is asking us to find the value of x. You can't just plug that in your calculator. So what we'll go ahead and do is I need to get x off the bottom. To solve for x, it cannot be in your denominator. So what I need to do is I need to solve for x. So to solve for x, what I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply by the reciprocal of just x on both sides. Okay. So I multiply my x here. Those are divide to 1. And then I have x times tan of 60 degrees equals 32. Again, we need to solve for x. So I divide by the tangent of 60 degrees. So therefore, my final answer is x equals 32 divided by the tan of 60 degrees. Now to evaluate that, we need to be able to, if we're going to use our calculator, now it's tangent of 60 degrees is on the unit circle. So we could find that value. However, um, <clears throat> I know it's probably going to be an irrational number. So I'll just go and use my calculator. But before I do that, I want to make sure my mode is in degrees, not in radians. So therefore, all I do is I take 32 divided by the tangent of 60. And therefore, my answer is 18.48. So that is going to be length, that is going to be the length of my missing side. Okay?